Welcome back. It's time for our pet doctor segment. We got Dr. Larson here with uh, a little bit of a squirmy one. We'll call it that way. Who's this? I brought Rebel today, Rebel. Tim. Rebel is a 19 week old dachshund. Now you can't see that so much from his head, but if you watch him run around, you it, see the he's, he's dachshund. He's cute. Um, we're going to talk about hormones. They're very important, uh, obviously, for our bodies yeah. and for our pets' bodies. Let's start, though, with the definition of what exactly is a hormone. A hormone, Tim, is a substance produced by an organism okay. that is regulatory for an, a specific cell in the body. That's kind of the, the okay. official uh, definition for it. Now, the hormones are all around our bodies. Uh, some of the ones we've heard of very uh, most commonly are like a growth hormone, mm -hmm. a reproductive hormone, uh, perhaps a hormone that causes hair to grow or not grow. Yeah. And there's so many more hormones that all do specific things. Without hormones, we wouldn't be us. Yeah, and sometimes they can be out of balance. Or they can be, and whack. that's not a good thing if they're... And, yeah, that's a bad thing. What are some of those imbalances? Well, uh, the two main hormones that we see, Tim, that are really good out of balance and need fixed are the thyroid gland okay. and the adrenal gland. Now, if the uh, thyroid gland gets out of balance, it, uh, either it produces too much thyroid hormone or not enough. Too much is called hyperthyroidism. Mm -hmm. Cats get that. Okay. Too little is hypothyroidism. Dogs get that. Now, adrenal glands, too much, too little. Uh, too little is called Addison's disease. Need to add more. Mm -hmm. And too much is called Cushing's disease. Too much is being produced. Yep, and that's what we're going to talk about uh, today. Is that more of a cat or a dog problem? Pretty much a dog problem. Okay. And it's the fact that usually dogs don't develop that until they're six years or older. Okay, so a little bit on the older scale mm -hmm. there. Um, do you have another name? Uh, well, I've always called? got these names yeah. for you. Every time. Hyperadrenal corticism. Okay. Cushing's That's a disease good, is a lot easier. Uh, uh, it just tells us that the adrenal gland is involved. And it's too much. Put, produce too much cortisol. Okay. The, adrenal, the adrenal gland, where is it? Behind each kidney. Okay. The, the, uh, there's a group of glands, but they're not in a cluster. They're in one little ball about the size of a 20-pound dog. Maybe have a gland, maybe no more than a quarter inch long. Mm -hmm. And th this group of glands produces the hormones. Uh, there are two of them, one either uh, And what causes it to overproduce? Well, but, uh, uh, several different reasons. Okay. Now, and it's all hormone involved. Pituitary gland, let's say, the, we're gonna call the pituitary gland uh, the uh, boss or the foreman. All right. Now that's up in the brain. Remember okay. the adrenal glands are by the kidneys. And the pituitary gland says, hey, adrenal gland, produce this much hormone. Yeah. Well, sometimes a pituitary gland produce, tells it to produce too much, almost always because there's a benign tumor in the pituitary gland have okay. producing too much. Now, if that's not the case, the adrenal gland has the same issue, but it's the factory. All right. It gets, the factory gets too big, produces too much uh, cortisone, and the same thing happens. Or it shrinks down and doesn't have enough. And what are the signs that you'll see when this is happening? Well, uh, if it's uh, Cushing syndrome, means too much. Mm -hmm. And so what's happening for the adrenal gland, um, they uh, drink more water than normal. They drink a lot of water. They're wetting more than normal. Yeah. Sometimes they'll pant. Uh, sometimes they'll um, uh, get a symmetrical hair loss on their back. Okay. The, the hair gets thin and they'll lose hair. And sometimes they'll get a little pot belly to them. Okay. All these things are kind of cardinal signs yeah. of uh, 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 Cushing's disease, but there are other diseases that cause the same thing, so it's not a dead ringer. That's some good information there. Thank you, Doc. You're uh, welcome. Rebel, you little cutie, we'll let you go. Uh, we'll be coming right back. Stick with us. There, good job, Rebel. Yeah.